Hi, this is a demonstration of Android based parking booking system project. So this is an enhanced system that allows the user to book parking spaces. So you know in this system the user can you know select parking spaces before going to a particular place in advance so that he doesn't have to struggle to find a parking space wherever he's going. The system shows him uh, various parking slots in uh, you know the areas wherever he wants to uh, go. So if he selects the area, the system shows him the parking slots or parking areas nearby that area. And after that, he can select individual parking slots. The system shows it uh, which parking slots are empty till uh, what time. And you know, in that way, he can book parking spaces. And after going there, he can use those spaces in advance. And he can uh, use the system directly from his Android app. Anyway, so let's see how the system works. So we have two options of uh, login user and the new user. I select the login user and uh, I'll be shown a user ID. That's my user ID, 004. And then you can provide the details like full name, phone number, email ID, and the password to register yourself. So it will check uh, for all the fields. So if I type anything in this and let's leave the phone number empty and let's just submit, it will again show you the message that please enter the phone number so you have to enter all the fields next uh, I have the ID and the password already so you just log in with that ID and the password and let's say login uh, so this is my home page or you can see the dashboard where I can get the options of new booking, view booking my details, feedback and cancel booking so now let's uh, select every new booking so use a plot one uh, so there is only one plot in database but uh, here we can have four plots uh, so here's a plot one and then in plot one we have two slots currently added into the database but we can have a limit up to four slots so let's select uh, a plot and there you will get a, a section to enter date and time and all this and you will get 8 areas as uh, we have added uh, 8 areas into this particular slot so let's uh, enter the date and select the time to book so I'll select uh, 10 and 42 hours so when I say search, all the areas would be open for me to the book. So these are my 8 areas in slot 1. So I'll select area 1 and you can see that it shows uh, booking ID is 1030. So my booking was successfully done for area 1 uh, for this particular date and time. So if I go back into the slot 2 and you will see that it won't affect uh, the slot 2 over here you are booking in the slot 1 won't affect in slot 2 or anything so that's a, a particular different area and you can see over here that there are 9 areas as we have entered 9 max limit is up to 10 areas uh, so let's go back and in slot 1 let's search for the same particular date and time and let's say duration is 2 hours let's see search so you can see that the area 1 has uh, gone red as we have already booked that area uh, so we can't uh, click on that and book it again uh, so we have to select any other area so let's select area 2 and your booking id was 1031 so now let's uh, go back to the main menu and let's uh, view our booking so you have to enter your booking id over here and when you say search you will get its uh, details like it's uh, done for plot 1 in slot 2 and the area is 2 so next is uh, my details page where you can see your details like your phone number email address and your valid booking id so this is my two valid booking so you can just uh, go to the feedback and if you want to write any feed or anything you can just write uh, feed to the uh, feedback module
and you can say submit and it will be shown to that link so next is the cancel booking here we type our booking id there you can see that uh, it shows our details and if you want to cancel that booking you can just select uh, cancel booking so i'll just again write any uh, random number and you can see that it shows invalid booking id so i'll particularly write uh, the valid booking and you will get the details of that booking and you can just say cancel and your booking would be cancelled successfully so you can just go and view booking and search for that particular id and you will be shown that uh, invalid booking id so uh, that's how the android part works let's see the admin module where the uh, you get the uh, option for admin id and the password so let's enter the id the password and the current system so here admin has uh, these options of adding a parking slot view booking view feedback view user so here is the add slot module so to add a slot we uh, have to just provide the, the details of plot the slot name and the number of slots so the plot one over there so we can just add a new plot as p2 and whatever text you write over here it will be shown in the android part and here we enter 6 as uh, number of areas so the 6 uh, par parking areas will be available so the slot was added successfully next uh, let's uh, select view booking model here uh, admin can view the valid bookings uh, from particular date and uh, from date and to date so let's select uh, 21 and 23 and we'll be shown uh, 1031 uh, 1030 and the 1031 was cancelled so it won't be shown over here and uh, next uh, whatever uh, Bookings will be done, it will be shown over here. Next is feedback module. Uh, so, this is the feeds submitted by the uh, user to the admin. And next, we have is a view user module. So, this is a view user where uh, it will be shown the details of the user. So, this is the admin part. Now let's uh, log in back into the android part and uh, see the plot which was added. Uh, so whatever text you write in that uh, add plot module it will be shown over here. So let's log in. ID and the password. I'll say login and we'll select new booking. And you can see over here that you can see P2 which we added as our new plot name and this is S1 which we added in the slot name and then you can see that there are 6 parking areas not 8 or not 9 there are 6 as we have wrote 6 over there the parking areas so max limit is 10 over here so you can just same way search the date and time and you can select a, a slot for that particular plot So this is how the entire system works, thank you.